Oh, on the look on the stereo, on, the, on the CCTV. There's something on the on, the, on the camera four. Look. Yeah, but I don't need camera at the minute. I can see things in the trees. No, you. I can't do this. Did you hear that noise? That bang? Yes. What Was is it a bang? Come on, you gotta come in. You promised the fans. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, you've just trod on that hippo. It's not Charlie's toy. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, guys, we're back. Mum's here. I begged her, and she's caved in. She's come to do the animation reaction horror edition again. All right, part two in the BFT's nighttime edition. Don't forget, guys, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, and leave a like. Look at my hands. I'm falling. Oh my gosh, guys. You better behave yourself with that toy. All right, we're here. You ready? Three, two, one. Sitting, what was it? Horror, I was how 16 sitting? when this happened to me, and it still haunts me to this day. My older brother's friend gave me work of house sitting his rather large house for two days, with the pay rate being 100 a night. For the sake of privacy reasons, just, just let's call my brother's together. friend Nick. $200 was a lot for such a simple task as house sitting. And since I recently sold my PlayStation 3, to save up for a PlayStation 4, the job came as God sent. At around 6 p.m., Nick picked me up and drove me to his house, as it was getting dark out. Once we got there, he told me about the security cameras he had installed in and out of his home. But I didn't have any intentions of staring at any security monitor all night, as I had brought my laptop to pass the time. After some time had passed, I felt hungry and decided to grab something from the oh, fridge. No. Here we go. You can just but tell. as I got up to make my way down, I saw movement out of the corner oh, of my no. eye what? from the monitor. Seen something. Oh gosh, what? I'm oh! Oh, 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 look, on the, on, the, on the CCTV. There's something on the, on the, on the camera four. Look. Yeah, but I don't need camera at the minute. I can see things in the trees. No, you, I can't. How can you see things in the trees when it's pitch black in the trees? Well, the moving. The moving. Look, here, yeah, that, branches. That's it. My ears are just weird, guys. I, I can't cope. Ah, just closing my laptop and taking a closer look, noticing the movement coming from camera four. Upon oh, look at that! Just look at it! Oh my gosh, it's got his ear pierced, look. That's it? Oh, he's got earrings in. No, do you know what's going to happen now, guys? That dark, black-looking demon is just going to come to life, and we're going to see what it really looks like. You can I just tell. I noticed that it was a it's silhouette of what appeared That'd to be, be a man standing outside the house. Here we go. Within seconds of glancing away from the monitor, the it's man gone. was gone. It's gone. At that very moment, I heard oh glass God. shatter somewhere ah! downstairs, causing me to immediately look at the cameras, Noticing him crawling in through the basement window. Oh, in the oh my gosh, did you? No chance, no, no chance, no, no, no. He looked like a no. giant ant. That looked like a spider. I've said this so many times in these episodes, guys. If you're scared of watching them, you can't tell me now that you're not scared. Come on, that was just freaky. Uh, did you see the way he was walking? Like well, like walking, crawling. What's the matter with you? Why are you like wrapped up like you're in the Arctic again? Oh, come on, it's. It's creepy in here. I hope you're actually watching this, or you, your eyes need to be know watching what the screen. I'm doing, to be honest. You need to watch the screen. I started screen. to panic, watching him climb the basement oh, stairs. He's got a knife, Hunter. I see he's got a knife. Camera two. He's got a knife, guys. Let's go upstairs. Camera two. The look. knife clenched in his hand. I quickly locked the door to my room and dialed 911, explaining everything. Come on, hurry up. I watched the monitor, oh, terrified no. to see the man on the same floor as mine, desperately opening and closing the doors, looking for anyone to cross his path. I press my ear against the door. You'll be absolutely, absolutely, lutely, lutely terrified. You would just have heart attack on the spot. You, 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 listen, 911 is not enough. That that person, the demon, whoever he is, is moving very fast through the floors of that property. It was quick. The way you crawled in that basement is professional. You can move like that. Yeah. Me? I can't crawl like that. You think I'm some kind of tarantula? <laughs> Straining to hear his now slowed footsteps approach my door as he attempted to open it. Realizing I was in there, he began to shout and pound on the door aggressively, frightening me to the very core. As I sat there shaking, I heard sirens in the distance, steadily getting louder and louder. My fear quickly disappeared as I heard the man run towards the stairs, attempting to escape his fate. Look, he's, he's all right, he's all right. The door slam open, accompanied by somebody yelling, Police! Put your hands in the air! Moments later, I walked downstairs and saw the intruder in a pair of handcuffs being escorted to the police cruiser. Got him. I thanked one of the officers and called Nick, explaining everything to him. After about 20 minutes, he picked me up and took me home. That's it. I got no sleep that night. I'm not surprised. All I could think of 
was how lucky I was to be alive. I'm not gonna get and those if the cops hadn't shown up when they did, <laughs> I wouldn't be here to tell the story. <laughs> I don't know how I can do this, guys. I'm in the BFTs. It's pitch black. Real creepy guys horror story animated. Oh, I'm not doing any more. Creepy guys, yes, 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 yes. I've yes. been followed by creeps before, and followed by creeps. in one case was almost assaulted. I was never truly really scared about that type of stuff. I've been through a lot in my life, and I consider mm. myself to be mm. pretty strong. Mm. Even when some creep attempted to assault me, I wasn't scared because I knew I was going to beat his ass. And I did. Just look. Well done, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Right in the gooly <laughs> Well done. I know when something bad's going to happen, or if someone is a shady character, etc. Will you stop twitching? My friends tell me I have some type of sixth sense. I'm not one for superstition, but gosh, I also gosh. have to agree it gets really weird and I'm almost always right. One day, I got the worst gut feeling I ever had in my life. I was in my first year of college living in some very nice apartments. I loved living there. It was a Friday and I needed to head to the bank before it closed because I forgot to cash in my check beforehand. I left my house, locked the door, and started heading towards my shadows. car. Shadows! I hate shadows! There's shadows! Left shadows! I the of my apartment complex and started no. walking. A beat up rusty truck pulled up oh as if on cue. There were two guys inside. One was a pretty big guy with tattoos and looked like he just got out of prison, and the other one was super skinny with glasses. <gasps> what is, wow. is that? That's a woman, isn't it? Look at the state of that. You, if you don't stop twitching, I'll just not be able to control myself. Because your head's left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down. There's the screen. You've got to concentrate on that. Because How can you when it's like... The mic oh my gosh, come on. You can't, the twitching makes the whole situation more scary. You can't oh, do relax. that to me. I've already been here already, you know. This is the second time I'm in this BFD. Oh, no. Think, think about me, what I've been put through. The second I laid my eyes on them, I had my gut feeling kick in. It was oh, worse than usual, and I immediately... Like What's that touching my head? It's called a twig! You donut! You know, twigs! Tree twigs! Come on! Come on, go! The big guy was driving and started to tell me things like, You are so beautiful, come over here, let's talk. Like she said, creepy guys follow me. That is creepy. You're creep. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I didn't want to walk to my car because I didn't want them to know what car I drive. No, and I didn't want to walk back to my house because I lived on the first floor. What would you it do? It's easier to break into. And if they didn't know already where I lived, I wanted to keep them from finding out. What would you do? So I started walking to the front office of the apartment complex, which was a little far away. I already had my pocket knife out, but oh, put it in my sweater sleeve. Good, 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 just in they case. They kept pulling just, just out, trailing wow. me as I walked to the office. I kept my eye on them so I knew what they were up to. They eventually asked me to go to a party with them. A party? The big guy said, We're having a party at 2 a.m. at a friend's house who lives here. That voice is just weird, isn't it? You do not go to any party with a stranger. Stranger is more than stranger. You're asking for trouble. You want to go to a party? <laughs> we can all hang out beforehand and get to know each other before we go. Oh yeah. It was around 3.30 p.m. at the time, just for your information. I ignored them and told them, no, stop bothering me. Gosh, they kept trying to persuade me by saying nice things and stuff. And eventually they both said, if you come with us, we'll give you a free pair of shoes. You would go. Free pair of shoes? You, you would go. I won't go for nothing. Yes, you would go. You would go because they've offered you for a pair of shoes. No, I don't think so. You would go. You would say, are they Louis Vuitton? <laughs> They'd go. They can be. Okay, I'm in. No. Yes. Never ever yes. accept a gift off a stranger. Never. I would no. not encourage that, guys, but I'm talking about moi. She would get in the car for a pair of Louis. How dare you? That's the rude. skinny guy then leans back and starts digging around the back seat. I stopped to look because I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to grab a gun or duct tape or something like that. I was a good few feet away from the truck and took a running position just in case. He pulls out a dark blue suitcase from the back seat and opens it. Inside there are maybe 100 <gasps> pairs of children's shoes. Jet box! Louis! I mean, what pair of shoes in that box would make you want to get in that car, guys? I mean, choose, choose your pair. None. Is that TT Squad shoes there, look? <laughs> It's got they've got Tiana on a pair of them shoes. <laughs> I'm as 
Asda. Yeah. yeah, by the way, yeah, Asda or hotspartiana.com. There you go. I'm picking Tiana again and it's the Woodson family, but I don't mind. I'm in a good mood now. I'm getting used to this scariness. In the BFTs. I'm not, so we're real. That's because you're keeping Jeez. me company. The sizing range from a small... There's a... Ah! There's a... F There's a fox in the... Oh my god! It's a... It's a, a real person's foot in it! It's a foot. Where the explorer shoe to an adult-sized woman's stilettos. It's a foot. That's the moment where my gut feeling went into a frenzy. My knees became so weak, I threw up on the spot. I've never felt so sick and I've felt so disgusted in my entire life. I felt pure evil. Oh my god. I screamed no, and they became extremely angry. Oh no, here we go. Out here we go. Car. No. Run! I booked it. Yes. In the street, my neighbor's little kids were playing outside. I snatched them up and ran all the way to the front office. No way I was gonna leave these little kids behind with some fucking oh, sweets. The minute we got there, I told the front office, and they called the cops. And I called the kid's mother. I told them that her kids were with me and not to leave the house in case they were still out there. I didn't want them to find out where she lived either. Oh After that, God. for the next few days, I was terrified to leave my house. So terrified, I had my friend come and stay with me for about a week. Oh. On the fourth day, we were getting Stop ready it. to leave to go Stop get it. food. And while I was locking the door, my friend said, That's a f***ing <laughs> truck. What? I oh, turned no. around, oh, no. and it was those guys in the oh, truck no. right in front of my They've house. Come back. We ran back inside. Apparently, they had been stalking oh, out my place for a while. They there. were never caught. I never saw them again after the apartments cracked down. On oh my gosh, my gosh. I learned gosh. about serial killers in school. And serial found killers? found out some take trophies of their victims. I always thought back and wondered what if all those a shoes were there. trophies? All these shoes were trophies, she says. But there's a foot there! Trophies! That's a special one. What? A special trophy? <laughs> A fourth. Now you're in the mood, we'll have one more. No, come on, this <laughs> is torture. I'm really on edge and I don't The like compilation it. with, is it two we've done? Oh, Here we go, on. what have we got? Last one, last one for you guys. Hitchhiking Horror Story Animated. You know, you know 17. Oh, it's my favorite I didn't have one. a driver's license. Most of the time I walk or hitchhike. Oh my God. There was this one night. It's the best. There weren't that many cars on the road and it was very cold. And this man pulled over. When the guy pulled over, I, I took a good look at the guy and figured ooh, out. Ooh. Did you get in his car? Ooh, ooh, look at that face. Ooh. He was on the slender side and had a strange frailness about him. Yeah, he did. Even though he looked healthy enough. I got no, into no, 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 no. Pause. Let's just pause there. You telling me now you would enter that vehicle. You've seen what the driver looks like. You've seen the conditions. It's nighttime as well. It's all spooky and dark and a bit like where we are now. You're not going to get in the car. I bet he gets in it. He's gonna it's get a man though, Winter, so... What? Not because he's a man. Yeah, it is. Car, what, after we watch? agreed on the destination. See? We exchanged think, names and I was on my fingers up in front of the heating group. He spoke quietly, asking a few questions along the lines of, was I local and how did I like living there? Oh, it's like He said he'd only been here for a few months, but found it beautiful and hoped he could find happiness there. Stop it. That comment struck me as a little odd, but I brushed it off. It began to snow and the road quickly got slippery. So he slowed and he kept his eyes straight out the windshield, driving silently. I was okay with that, as small talk was never my forte. About 10 minutes forte. later, I noticed the car near the intersection we were approaching seemed to be sliding, so I said, watch out. And it was not he immediately hit the gas. Shooting through the intersection and burst out with his ever screaming at me. Needless to say, I was taken aback. I said, Look. When it comes down to cars and speed, you can't cope, can you? It took her about 10 times to pass the driving test. She was just terrible when it comes down to driving lessons. You just shut up, waffling. It took you 10 times, though, didn't it? No! This is close enough. Just pull over here and I can get there. It's getting out. He didn't seem to hear me. So I said, Richard, did you hear me? You've got a twitch. I said, you can pull over here and let me out. It's not listening. It's not listening. But no response. He's trying to take He just stared straight ahead, driving faster now than he did when it started snowing. 
much. To say I was scared doesn't oh, seem to cover the death of the fear that began arising. <laughs> I didn't know if I should stay quiet or speak, but I was damn sure not going to yell after his outburst. So he's being stupid on the after road. About a minute, no! he began to mumble under his breath. I couldn't quite make out what he was saying, but I assumed he was speaking to me. So I said, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. He began to speak quietly and rapidly, saying things like, you're always yelling at me. I've told you time and time again, do not yell at me. I don't appreciate it. No, you don't listen, you don't listen. And I was just sitting there looking Ooh, at him. Ooh, look at his face, look, he's shivering now. I was at a complete now. loss. I didn't know what to say in response or if I should say anything at all. I contemplated just jumping out of the car. No, no, that's next me, that mate. idea Don't. when I realized the door lock was missing. The door lock's door lock. missing. It's trapped him in the car, guys. He's it. done. And he's doing 100 miles an hour. He's not stopping for nothing. He's not going to crash the car because he do not want to kill himself. He's after this guy in a proper quiet place to do something very, very horrifying. There was just a silver lined hole where it should have been. I started to cry and oh. debate with myself about causing an accident by grabbing the wheel and hoping for the best. He's crying, not me. When he suddenly looked at me for the first time since I had gotten in the car, he blinked several times rapidly, then slowed the car, pulling into a gas station. I waited to see if he unlocked the doors, oh, no. not wanting to say anything to set him Come off on, again. Get out, get out. After a minute or two, he quietly said, I think I better let you out of here. And he hit the button to the door locks and he opened the door. I wasn't about to hesitate, so I jumped out of the car as if I were on fire. I was about to turn and walk into the gas station when he called my name. He looked so damn sad and I hesitated. He apologized, said he was sorry if he had frightened me, <laughs> that he never would have harmed me. And he asked if I'd be able to get home okay. I said I would and closed the door. He began to pull out of the gas station, but stopped suddenly. He just sat there for a couple of moments, his head down. I froze, wondering what the hell was up. And was about to run into the gas station. But he opened his window and yelled at me, waving something in his hand, my hat. Oh, um, don't go. I oh, no, 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 and a piece of paper fell out of it. What? Folded into a paper was a hundred dollar bill. The paper said, I'm, I'm sorry. Please, Please take a cab and don't hitchhike anymore tonight. I didn't. I've got goosebumps. In me. fact, it was the last time I ever hitchhiked in my life. Wow. Will never, ever do that again. That is a lesson to be learned. <gasps> oh, I, 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 that's enough. That is enough. That's, that's me done for this evening. Okay, okay, no. guys. Bye. Oh no, no, proper outro. We've done it. We've done the BFT reaction now, guys. I'm feeling where I could do this again. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to try and get Tiana to get involved with this. We need, <laughs> we need to just be brave in life sometimes. It's just trees. I know it's dark, but it's just trees. <laughs> Let me know down below. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Oh no, no. Let me know. Let me know. Where could my dad do a reaction video next? He's done it in the BFTs, he's done it in his bed with blankets and stuff. You guys can decide to so comment down below. I love you like, like